The Daily Recap, January 29th, 2013. Would you like to see how to destroy 127 iPhones in three minutes using a bulldozer? Okay, yeah, true enough, the iPhones are fake. Would you be willing to drop $800 on a 128 gigabyte iPad? Well, we took a poll and surprisingly, a lot of you said you would. Microsoft continues to try to transform itself from a software company into a device and services company and Office 365 is at the forefront of that movement. In more Microsoft news, their 128 gigabyte Surface Pro only has 83 free gigabytes of storage and their 64 gigabyte model, 23. Understandably, a lot of people are very upset about the DMCA unlocking exemption that expired. Well, there's a petition right now to make unlocking phones legal again. And if you're still confused about the legality of jailbreaking and unlocking in the US, then the EFF tries to clear things up. You want to check out this post for more information. So you voted that you would buy a 128 gigabyte iPad 4. Well, good news. You can actually do that on February 5th. Apple confirmed as much. Every time there's a new jailbreak, Cydia basically slows to a screeching halt due to all the activity. Well, this time around, they're taking preemptive steps to make sure Cydia is stable. I know, I know you're super excited about the upcoming jailbreak, but until then, why not check out this post highlighting six tweaks that don't require a jailbreak. And last on the docket, quite a surprising development, a new FCC filing reveals a new, slightly smaller Apple TV set-top box.